Chris Lionel's been around Hollywood for a long time. I haven't always been important, but I've been there to see a lot of movies being made. One of the first movies I saw was James Caan. He looked the same in real life. But I've seen a few people like Megan Fox and Brad Pitt. Ah, folks, I don't know if acne was... Uh, grew in their family, but it definitely grew on their face because they got crater faces. All the makeup in the world and all the HD, well, the HD is what destroyed both of these guys because they got to cake it on so thick they got to use a, a, a Sherman Williams brush. These people got bad, bad skin. And there's plenty of them with bad skin. Bad skin. But, whoa, he's a hunk. He's a, one of the best, uh, um, Best looking men in America, says who? There's there's a thousand guys on the street that look better than Brad Pitt. Brad Pitt, his face is pitted. Rick, you're being disgusted. You're, you're just picking on him. No, I'm telling the truth. He's got terrible, terrible skin. I don't know if he popped his zits with uh, a, a spatula. Who knows? But he's got bad skin. Megan Fox, besides loving the fart, well, we already talked about that a week before. <laughs> she even names her farts. But anyways, she's got terrible skin. The body looks great, but the skin is terrible. I mean, at least on her face. She'll body shots, I, I can't tell too much. Even with the HD, she looks pretty good. But folks, enough of the celebrity stuff. The best looking people in America. Some of the best looking people in America are you, not Brad Pitt, not Megan Fox. You're watching the Rick Castellano Show? Don't look up to anybody. You know who you look up to?